There are essentially three kinds of people on this earth, in my opinion, there are, those who know, those who know that they don't know and those who don't know that they don't know anything at all. And for the longest time, I belonged to the third group, until two major events changed my life. The story of my first wake-up call, goes like this, I had been watching videos on YouTube about how to make money online at the time. Fiverr.com and Upwork.com were two websites that popped up in most videos. In case you are not familiar with Fiverr and Upwork, they are essentially websites, that act as a marketplace for services, so if you are good at something, say, graphic design or coding, you create an account on Fiverr, or Upwork, and then, clients would contact you via the platform. It's a very busy marketplace, and, having an account there guarantees that you meet thousands of potential clients. I decided to try for freelance writing since I was enthusiastic about making money online. My application didn't make it through. This was a reality check for me. Freelance writing, as a skill, I thought to myself at the time, was something I ought to be able to do efficiently. Out there, the grind is real and there are a lot of people who put in all their hours daily on a consistent basis. How can you compete with such people? On Upwork, I saw the profiles and portfolios of my age mates, I was 23 at that time and I was mesmerized. I couldn't believe the amount of work my age mates around the world had put in already. At this point, I had moved from the group of those who don't know that they don't know anything at all, to those, who know that they don't know. Before this point, I knew I wanted to be successful, and I just carried that in my thoughts, but such thoughts, without corresponding action, is useless. A lot of companies spring up on daily basis, and they are putting in the work, some others are building careers online, writing books, into sports etc. Another group of people are posting on their social media that they are gonna make it big in this life, and they are not putting in the work. These guys are completely clueless about what it takes to get to the very top. I have nothing against social media, and it's okay to post there once in a while, but some people spend an insane amount of time on social media, consuming contents on entertainment. I mean, it's okay to have a laugh or two on social media, but to spend so many hours there, is simply a no-no. If you must spend a lot of time on social media, my sincere advice is that you spend it there creating content, and not just consuming content. One social media platform I have come across, that seems to be really helpful, is LinkedIn. Over there, people aren't taking selfies and snapping their food. They are putting out their CVs and portfolio, they are putting out where they are working and their capacity in terms of skill, managerial ability etc. When you see the profiles of other people, and you feel you aren't there yet, then that should serve as a motivation to build yourself further. Also, you can reach out to professionals in your field and have some sort of collaboration with them, and this is something I have found to be very helpful on LinkedIn. My second wake-up call. The second, and probably the most important reality check I had was when I read a book titled, High Performance Habits How Extraordinary People Become That Way, by Brendan Burchard. Now, I won't go into details about who Brendan is, but I will say that he is a leading high-performance coach amongst other things. He once had a client who asked him to produce information about the habits that guaranteed success. A failure to do so, will result in loss of contract with this client. This experience, set in motion the forces that led to the publishing of that book. Brendan had to do a lot of research, definitely not on his own. He interviewed the most successful people on the planet, and began finding traits that were common among them. At the end, Brendan came up with six habits that all successful people had in common, and the good news was, these habits weren't inherent traits, they are acquirable. Anyone can pick up those habits and turn out successful. It had nothing to do with whether you were introverted or extroverted, outgoing, or reserved. Absolutely anyone could practice those habits and end up truly successful. After all the research, Brendan came up with a test which scored anyone on a scale of 0 to 5, he had tons of people take the test and he found out that the top 15% of high performers in the world scored an average of 4.75 in his test. He also said that someone who scored, maybe a 4.51, was definitely light years behind someone who scored a 4.75, the fellow, who score 4.51, has a lot to improve upon if he wants to be among the top 15 in the world. I was overexcited about this test and was really eager to take it. I wasn't so eager or excited after the test. I scored a whopping 3.47.
I must add that this test is fairly accurate, but is by no means a final authority as to if someone will end up successful or not. I really think time, and chance, or luck, or even a bout of creativity, at a critical moment, are somethings, that can push someone to great levels of financial freedom, but, the test tries to help you compare your level of output, and input, to those of those who are absolutely smashing it in the world. After taking the test, I sat in silence for at least an hour. I began to recollect my thoughts. Someone who scored 4.51 is light years behind a high performer, here I was with a 3.47. I am probably galaxies behind them, I thought to myself. And here I was, telling myself, I wanted to be a billionaire, without actually knowing the amount of work it takes to be a billionaire. I think at that point, I had moved a step higher, from being someone who knows that he doesn't know, to someone who knows the things I must do, to join those who truly knew. Growing up, I always felt I was talented, and it made me blind to the fact that, in a fast-moving world like the one we have today, hard work beats talent, over and over again, times without number. I did have a good mindset, I wanted to be successful, but I was oblivious of the amount of work needed, to get to that level. To be successful, you just have to put in the work. There is no way round it. That book, and the test, changed my life. I looked at success from a different perspective and my attitude towards pursuit of my dreams was more polished. The part 2 to this video is in the link in the description, and in that video, I went into details and explained the 6 success habits according to Brendan Burchard, so do check it out. As always, stay energized.